गुरोर ब्रह्मा गुरोर विष्णु गुरोर देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरवे नमः व्हाट विल वी टॉक अबाउट टुडे व्हाट टू टॉक नथिंग टू टॉक आस्क अ क्वेश्चन how to realize i am not the body from good point how to realize i am not the body this has been stuffed into our mind by the scriptures and you have been listening to scriptures all of you for many years that we have to drop the body identification in order to be spiritual but you know what i'll tell you the secret today you can never get disidentified from the body because you didn't create the identification so how can you get disidentified did you consciously create the identification no so you cannot disidentify also then what can you do because you are in this body you are you think you are the body breath mind intellect then what can you do if a mahatma has realized his self by doing tapasya and japa and uh, yoga and uh, samadhi etc is he disidentified from the body we still see the body there we still his see his mind functioning we still see him breathing we still see him hungry <laughs> so if we cannot destroy body identification initial stages we do explain shankaracharya says other masters say why so that we become more we don't become obsessed by the body instead our focus our attention our fo- uh, uh, our pursuit is of the conscious reality but when you come to a certain point where mind is not becoming that much of a dif- uh, hindrance and when we come to the upanishads see that is why the problem is that if we are not if you are not doing sadhana side by side and you come to the upanishads you are not quieting your mind and things are told in contradictory fashion that you cannot disidentify from the body neither can you realize the self now what are you going to do 
whole life we are oh we are a mumukshu we have to come to realize the self now we are telling you that amrit anubha tells us that you cannot realize the self upanishads tell you you cannot realize the self why you are already that then if i am already that why cannot i realize the self because the one who is seeking the one who is seeking the self is an imaginary one he is a ghost so that ghost has to dissolve has to go away and when that and where is the ghost in the mind so mind has to become zero and where the mind becomes zero the self is the reality is so did you come to realize the reality no all you did was remove the ego all you did was you removed ident became indifferent to the mind and mind is nothing but play of i and that just as you are seeking the waker is seeking the sleep but the waker has to vanish in order for sleep to be but sleep is not created create sleep is just empty mind without knowing that the mind is empty by the waker but who desires the waker desires who desires liberation the seeker uh, desires and when he is sufficiently purified and what is this purification purification is all get body disidentified first get the world disidentified then senses disidentified body disidentified breath mind intellect past present future etc 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 if the mind is there it will think of the past it will think of the future it will it will project the body you cannot run away from the body and do sadhana the sadhana has to be done within the body only are yaar ye to garbad ho gaya neither i can come to realize neither i can disidentify with the body then what do you do with the body ah you become you be indifferent to the body stop thinking about it let it do what it has to do because it is already programmed who programmed it you only programmed it when in your last life let it function according to the data that it has come with then what do you do you choose wisely initially you choose the spirit and when you are coming closer to the spirit and the body breath mind intellect are till mind they are not becoming a challenge they are not be- becoming an obstacle because your attention has been withdrawn from these uh, uh, instruments through which you are functioning then you come to the upanishads then we are told that you cannot come to realize even this desire to realize has to be given up even this question who am i it's a stupid question everyone knows who they are they just don't know actually which one <laughs> because they are seeking the answer outside of themselves what is outside the world what is outside the body what is outside the breath what is outside the mind what is outside the i thought all this we have to be indifferent udasin let them be present let them be erupt- the thoughts be erupting in the mind or the words be coming out of your mouth every now and then you don't get disturbed by it for you are the eternal one for you are the infinite one 
for you are the unborn, undying one. For you are in essence the all-knowing, blissful, ever-existing one. When we do not accept this undeniable fact about our true nature, that is when we are we identify with something. When we, it is then that we give validity to duality. Because we have not accepted that we are the infinite one. If we have accepted we are the infinite one, just as from the sun's point of view there is no day and night, and there is no heat and light also because it is its nature. He doesn't know heat and light as separate to itself, as an object of experience. When we come to know, we come to abide, we come to be the Satchidananda Swaroop, Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swaroop. Then the difference is as you know it, right now as a seeker they will be self-cancelling all the opposites in out they will self-cancel north south they will cancel man woman that will cancel inside outside that will cancel knowing not knowing they will cancel the idea of reality, not rea no reality, that will cancel. Changing and changeless, that will cancel. Everything will stand cancelled. Because this duality is only in the mind. Remain indifferent. When we do not accept ourselves as we essentially are, that's when variety starts becoming valid for us because we have moved away from our essence. Even that sentence is wrong. We have moved away from our who we are. We have moved away from what we are. We have moved away from where we are. Where are you? Everywhere. Even that word everywhere is invalid because it did not, everywhere is said, oh, I am here and that is everywhere. Even that becomes invalid. Then such a person will remain in silence and conscious. And the phenomena of the body will continue as long as its program has allows it to continue. But this undue importance to be not identified with the body must be curbed. A tamasic person will be focused on fixing the gross body. A rajasic person will be obsessed about fixing the mind. A sattvic person He will be intent on fixing his conclusions about himself.
are we moving in this direction? A seeker's problem is he is not convinced as to who he or she is. There, there is no he or she also. Contemplate on what has been said. Don't spend too much time, I am not the body, breath, mind, intellect. Relax with a few breaths. Let those thoughts be washed out of your mind with the outgoing breath. Remain intent. Remain in poise. In the self, as the self. So remain contemplative on the self by way of thought, not, not a problem. When you observe there is no other disturbance in the mind other than the contemplative that I am, the contemplative poise of I am, then it must dawn that why, I why am I repeating I am so hum, so hum? Do I need to repeat that to myself? Do I need to repeat to myself that I am reality, I am Atman? Or am I already that? Do I keep saying I am the body, I am the body every day? I am already the body. I don't have to repeat I am the body, I am the body. Then why am I repeating I am the reality, I am Atman? Because I have not accepted it yet. I am not convinced of it yet. Our thinking must be conducive to this realization that I am that reality. When we think of the world, we keep our we keep going in loop, never loop of the mind, loop of thinking. For a change, be. Be the Chidakash, be the conscious space. Not become, be. become necessi necessitates a journey. To be, no journey. It, to be is all-inclusive. 